On this episode of the Game Day series, we are going to do three game day dips, okay? So we're gonna do a chicken wing dip, we're gonna do a jalapeno popper dip, and we're gonna do spinach and artichoke. As an added bonus, we're also gonna do buffalo boneless bites with a gluten-free and vegan blue cheese. And we're gonna do all of it gluten-free and plant-based, and it is phenomenal. Stay tuned, guys. football lovers love. It's football and food, right? I'm not a football fan. I know, don't send me hate mail, okay? Don't, don't flood my comments with how could you possibly not like football. I just don't. I was born and raised in the home of the chicken wing and trust me when I say it's freezing outside. There are a couple of definites about buffalo. One of those definites are they love their football, they love their sports teams, and they love their food. I just never got into the sports. But, as luck would have it, for my family and friends, I do love to cook. So I'll be in the kitchen making the snacks. If you're gluten-free and you're plant-based, most times you go to people's houses and there's just simply nothing you can have. Now you're gonna be able to take all your game day favorites over there. You don't even have to tell them that it's gluten-free and plant-based because these game day snacks are so delicious that no one's gonna know the difference. So in this series, we're going to do dips. We're gonna do homeless chicken wings. We're gonna do buffalo chicken tacos. We're gonna do subs. We're gonna do all kinds of crazy things. So come on, come hug with me. Uh, or watch the game, whatever. Either way, make these recipes and make sure that you hit that subscribe button, that like button, share with your friends and family, hit that little bell so that you get alerted every single time that I post. And please comment down below because I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear if you're making these recipes and if they've changed your way of looking at gluten-free and plant-based. So come on, come cook with me. Let's get going on the three dips. Now I'm gonna be making these dips in unison, so we're gonna be working with some batch cooking here and I'm gonna show you how to do that. For the first dip, we're gonna start with one tub of gluten-free and vegan sour cream and one tub of gluten-free and vegan cream cheese. Now the sour cream is 12 ounces and the cream cheese I'm using here is eight ounces. And what I did is because we're making three dips today, I just bought three containers of each one because each dip is gonna take one container. So for the first dip, the jalapeno dip, we're gonna go ahead and get the sour cream and the cream cheese inside of the bowl. I have left these out for just a little while on the counter to kind of soften. And we're going to add one half cup of gluten-free vegan mayonnaise. All right, now once we have that done, we're gonna do the same steps three times here. So again, one 12 ounce tub of sour cream, one eight ounce tub of cream cheese. And the same thing a third time. If you are not gluten-free or plant-based vegan, that's completely fine. This recipe is adapted from my original recipes before I was gluten-free and plant-based vegan. So if you're making these non-plant-based and non-gluten-free, you can just utilize regular ingredients. All of your measurements would be exactly the same. We're gonna mix up our mixture with these trusty beaters that have been very well loved in my household. We wanna make sure we get all the lumps and bumps out and we have a very smooth mixture. Okay, once all three of our dips are mixed very smoothly, we're gonna start back with our jalapeno dip. And I'm gonna add two and a half tablespoons of onion powder, two and a half tablespoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, and some salt and pepper to taste. And I am using Himalayan salt and freshly cracked pepper here. As 
since I diced up six green onions and I'm gonna use about three of the onions for this dip because we're gonna utilize three of the green onions for uh, the chicken wing dip. I took seven jalapenos which I ribbed and seeded and we're gonna place those in. Now the reason why I pulled the ribs and the seeds out is because we like ours to be on the mild side. You can increase the heat of this dip by including more ribs and or the seeds. Okay, now while I was at the store, I also bought three containers of this Follow Your Heart Parmesan vegan gluten-free cheese, which I absolutely love because it's very similar to real Parmesan cheese. And what I'm gonna do is add half of the tub into the dip and mix that around. I'm also gonna use this Go Veggie grated Parmesan cheese, and I'm gonna sprinkle about a teaspoon inside there. All right, now we're gonna take our cheddar shreds. This is gluten-free and vegan Violife cheddar shred cheese, and we're gonna use half the bag inside of the dip, about two handfuls. And once that is all mixed up, we're gonna take our 13 by nine butter dish, and I'm utilizing the throwaway dishes because for game day, I want this easy. And I'm gonna go ahead and spread out my jalapeno popper dip, and I'm gonna salt and pepper the top real fast. Then I'm gonna take the reserved amount of Parmesan cheese I had left over from that tub, and I'm gonna go ahead and spread it on the top. And then I'm gonna take the remaining of the bag of cheddar cheese, and I'm gonna spread that over the top as well. And now I'm gonna shake just a little bit of the smoked paprika over top of it just to make it look pretty and give it a little bit of a smoky flavor. And once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and get the foil on there and put this one aside, it's ready for the oven. Now we're gonna move on to our spinach and artichoke dip. We're going to start these ingredients with two and a half tablespoons of onion powder, two and a half tablespoons of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, a quarter teaspoon of thyme, a half a teaspoon of basil, a half a teaspoon of Italian seasonings, a half a teaspoon of oregano, and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And then I'm just gonna add some more Himalayan salt and freshly cracked pepper to taste. And about a teaspoon of that grated Parmesan. And again, a half a container of the Follow Your Heart grated Parmesan. And then what I did here was I took one whole onion and eight cloves of garlic. I got those sauteed and caramelized. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the dip and stir those in. All right, and here are our artichokes. And I utilized two 14 ounce cans of quartered artichokes. And I've already gone ahead and rinsed these and drained these very well. And I left two of the artichokes out just so you could see how I roughly chopped these. We're gonna place those in our dip. And here what I've done is taken one and a half bags of fresh spinach, and I removed the stems, and I've already wilted this spinach down. And I'm gonna take some fresh nutmeg, and I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle two little sprinkles over the spinach. And once I sprinkle the top, I'm just gonna go ahead and kinda of pull this spinach apart and get it into the dip. Now I'm gonna add one half bag of the mozzarella shreds of the Violife vegan and gluten-free cheese. And I'm also going to grate some of this vegan gourmet mozzarella cheese. And here I'm gonna grate about a quarter of the cheese block. Once I get all of the remaining of that quarter block of cheese in there, I'm gonna give it a good mix. And again, we're gonna get a 13 by nine buttered pan and we're gonna place our dip in there. I'm gonna take the remaining of the half container of the Parmesan cheese we have left, I'm gonna place that on the top. And I'm also going to place on the remaining of the mozzarella cheese that we have left over, which is about a half a bag. And I'm also going to grate another quarter piece of the block of cheese over the top of the mozzarella. I'm gonna sprinkle a little of that smoked paprika over the top. I'm gonna go ahead and foil this, place this aside, and this is ready for the oven. All right, onto our third and final dip. This is our chicken wing dip. And here we're going to take our sour cream mixture, half a teaspoon of cayenne, a half a teaspoon of chipotle pepper powder, and a half a teaspoon of sriracha powder, which I mixed together. We're also gonna be placing in two and a half tablespoons of onion powder, two and a half tablespoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of adobo, some salt and pepper to taste, and we're gonna mix that all around. 
we're going to utilize the rest of our reserved onions, which was three green onions, and one half container of this Parmesan cheese again. Also going to do another teaspoon of that grated Parmesan cheese. We're going to do half of the bag of this Avaya Life cheddar shreds. And we're going to do half the bag of the mozzarella Avaya Life cheddar shreds. So as you can see, the flavor profiles here for each dip are very similar. And now for our jackfruit. Jackfruit is an interesting fruit because it shreds like chicken, which gives your mind and taste buds the feel of shredded chicken in this dish. So this is what we're going to be utilizing as our chicken supplement. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and shredded up the jackfruit, but I wanted to leave one so that I could show you exactly how to cut this and shred this. You're going to find the divide between the top shredded portion and the bottom more chopped portion or the portion you're going to need to chop and there is a dissemination line there so you're going to find that and you're going to chop it right in the middle of that line and once you've separated those two pieces you're going to take the top and you're going to shred it into your bowl now make sure you're you're looking for these seeds because jackfruit does have seeds in it you do not want that in your mixture so you're going to be removing those as you go but as you can see here it looks like shredded chicken we use two 10.5 ounce cans of jackfruit here. We rinsed them very well and dried them. And now for the bottom part of the jackfruit, you're just gonna slice that in half and you're gonna slice it into mini chunks as if we were chunking up chicken. And you want the dice pretty small on this. The great thing about jackfruit is it also does not have much of a taste. So whatever you mix it with, it tends to soak up that taste very much like tofu. Right now here, if you watched my buffalo chicken taco video, uh, you'll see how I made this buffalo chicken wing sauce. Um, I do add things to my Frank's hot sauce and I'm gonna utilize about a cup of that sauce. The reason why I'm doing this is again, we like ours a little milder flavor and this is a mild sauce. So I'm only gonna be adding one third cup of the Frank's red hot sauce directly from the bottle. The remaining cup that I'm using is going to be the mixture that I made. Now you absolutely could add a cup and a third of Frank's Red Hot, but understand it's gonna be on the spicier side. If you want this to be more milder, please make sure you go over and watch my Buffalo Cauliflower Tacos recipe. Um, that shows you exactly how I made this mild sauce. Once we get all of the sauce that we want into our jackfruit, we're going to then add that and incorporate it into our dip. And now I'm going to grate another fourth piece of that mozzarella block into our dip. Look at that dip up close. How delicious does that look? Trust me, it's even better after it comes out of the oven. All right, we're gonna place that into our 13 by nine butter dish again. And over the top, we're just gonna salt and pepper it. And here is my gluten-free and vegan blue cheese. You can go ahead and watch the Buffalo Cauliflower Tacos video. That will give you the recipe for this. I'm gonna utilize about a cup of vegan gluten-free blue cheese that I made. You absolutely could use store-bought here, but the homemade version is to die for. Once that's mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and add the remaining of the Parmesan cheese, the remaining of the cheddar cheese, the remaining of the mozzarella cheese, and shred the remaining of the mozzarella block on top. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some smoked paprika on top, and then I'm gonna take some of that Frank's Red Hot Sauce, and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that over the top of the dip. It gives it a pretty color. We're gonna foil that, and that is also ready for the oven. These are gonna go into a preheated 425 degree oven for 45 minutes covered with foil. At the end of those 45 minutes, you can take your foil off and you can let them brown a little bit on top. Once they're browned, they are ready to eat. And here it is guys, your finished jalapeno popper dip, spinach and artichoke dip, and your game day chicken wing dip. All three of these dips are absolutely delicious. I can't wait for you to try them. And look at that cheese. Everybody says vegan gluten-free cheese doesn't melt, but I beg to differ because it is completely melted on top. Ooey and gooey just the way we like it. I like to serve these with some cut up organic vegetables and tortilla chips. And here, as promised, guys, is the plated buffalo cauliflower wings with gluten-free and vegan blue cheese. 
please make sure that you watch the buffalo cauliflower tacos video for the recipe for these delicious buffalo cauliflower wings. The recipe featured for the buffalo cauliflower tacos is exactly the same recipe, just minus the tacos. Please make sure that you like this video, you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you always get alerted when I have a new post. Please make sure that you share this with your friends and family and comment down below because I love to hear from you. If you made this recipe and it was absolutely delicious, please make sure you comment down below that gluten-free and plant-based is life. Again, guys, I spend a lot of time on YouTube and I know you guys have a ton of options of things that you could be watching. So I'm always so thankful when you decide to watch my channel. I appreciate you watching this video and I appreciate you supporting Nutrition Nation. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time.